Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Batman, Cape Crusader. This is season number one, episode number one through nine. It's the um, um, Prime Video original series. Um, and, and, and it's pretty much its own thing. So if you think it's, it's going to be following the Batman animated series, it's not following that. It's not taking stuff from the comics either. It's pretty much its own thing. It's, like, it's taking a little bit like from, from the past, from the past older Batman series, comics. And then it's creating its own new world. This is its own new universe. So there's some waist drops here, gender swaps in here as well too, and but but overall the characters still feel like the characters as, as well. Now it starts now now each of the story, series is almost like little one-offs. They, they they do connect. They say some storylines connect, like the Harvey Dent, the Harvey Dent storyline connects to about the whole that thing. You got Batman's storyline connects, but most of his villains do not. Like, 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 um, like, Harley Quinn had a little short, like, a short little stint because they, they established who she was, that she's a psychiatrist, because she, um, because Bruce had to, um, Bruce had to see her because he did, a, he had, um, um, an outburst in front of people when he hit somebody. And so because of that, because he, because of that assault he did in public, he had to go to, play, like, sort of, like, see a counseling or see a therapist for, like, for anger management and stuff as well, too. And when Bruce being Bruce, he doesn't really trust the psychiatrist. He doesn't want to open up to her because because the thing is though she want he might know who he actually really is because the Bruce the Bruce Wayne thing is his costume. Batman's who he truly is, and so he pretty much trying to peep this put on a show for a lot of people and pretend to be this, like this absent minded playboy who doesn't really care about anything. But he, but it's more to him than that. And you got and Harley Quinn is a psychiatrist, and she can tell he's lying, but she but at the same time. She know he knows she's not gonna get nowhere with him, so so you see her pretty much her storyline, and then when you finally get to her her, her, her big reveal, it kind of ends kind of flat and kind of abruptly, kind of kind of quickly. But and other than, other than that, that was, that was the weakest part of the series. But other than that, I really didn't enjoy this a whole lot. Now another thing is they 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 um they they gender swapped the penguin, and that didn't really bother me. The only part that bothered me was it still it still looked like the penguin. A little bit, just trying to make, just give him like breasts and like legs, but it was kind of odd. I think they should have went all out. I just instead of just making it look like the penguin, just just have it have it be a. a if you want a gender swapper, that's, that's fine. How about this? And just make him a, make him a, a short woman. Make him make him like a good looking short woman. She like she like let's say she like four seven, and maybe she was teased. Maybe she called up a little penguin when she was little, and she just took that name and, just, and made it to her, her, her thing. They could have went that direction. But because the thing is, they say, I understand what they were trying to do because they still trying to make you say, "Oh, that's the penguin," but it's the woman, so it was kind of throwing you off, threw me off a little bit. It could not going to get connected to the character as, as much. I mean, even though I enjoyed the performance and the take they took on it, because this, this version of the penguin has children, and you, and you see how how she willing to people to kill her own kids to get what she wants. I just, wow! So so it, it has the. The, so like a little bit of the style of the original Batman animated series, but it's a little bit more darker, a little bit more mature, as as well. And it's not bloody or anything, and it also leans more into the detective noir aspect. Cause I thought Batman was when he first came out. He was more, he mostly, mostly, he, most, he, he didn't do a lot of fighting, a lot of punching, a lot of stuff. It mostly like him, it was like a more noir type of detective type of series. That's one of the reasons why they brought in Robin a lot of times, because most of his, his thoughts were like. He didn't really talk to a lot of people. Most of the time he's by himself. So there was a lot of inner monologue you had to read through to go through a lot of stuff. It was a little bit of slower pace. And a lot of people were like, just, okay, it was, was kind of weird. But, but overall, I still didn't enjoy that, um, the performance that, that they brought to as the Penguin. Even though I thought that they could have went in a different direction. Like, the, like this whole series overall like, has a lot of interesting things in it. And sometimes I don't agree with some, some certain things. But I still like I like what they did with it. Like okay, Harley Quinn got um race swap. She they made her to an Asian woman in here. Okay, fine. But her costume design was off. I didn't like how her costume looked. So I so I just well I I, I enjoy what they're doing with this character. Very interesting take on the character as well too. And but at the, at the same time the look of it was also kind of weird. Her storyline was the weakest. So I just eh, what can you do? What, 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 but 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 the setup to her was very, very interesting. I just like that the character itself was very interesting. I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do with her. It's just, it's just that it, 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 it felt like once they started getting something to happen, it ended. It also introduced like all the Robins in here, all the different versions of Robins from like Dick Grayson, um, 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 
Jason Todd in here. They also, they also had um the, the the one the future the future one, and also spo uh, spoiler became Robin at least for for at least for a day before she got fired. But they had a different version. They, they, but they didn't have a um a Tim Drake, which is very interesting. And all, I had all the other ones there. That's that them. Oh well, this is, this is like in the combos. Tim gets screwed over here too. I, that's kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up. The animation was overall was okay. I, I, I like the style of it, but sometimes the animation and mo the movement of the of, of the characters look look looked a little stiff. They show they, they want to show it's like there's a certain scene that show Batman walking really slow, really like very intimidating, but the movements look so stiff looking and look it, it, it kind of looks kind of off like almost like he's like a robot in a way. And so there's certain movements were like when they, when they were running a lot of the time, but but their arm movements look look a little off. But other than that, it was fine as well. The action scene they did showing here was pretty cool. The, the like the whole look of it, because because it, it, it really does capture that time and that era. But at the same time, it's not really it's not a historic it's not historical it's not exactly following this at all. Because if it was historically accurate, none of this stuff would happen. I mean, there wouldn't be no blacks on the police force at the time, and there would also be no women detectives either. I mean, I, I wouldn't that would happen. I mean, there probably be women working in, in the office as the secretaries, but they wouldn't be like, um. And, a, and an Asian woman psychiatrist would never happen. So I'd be like, what? No, that would not be a thing. But this is his own world. This is his own thing. So don't expect it to, like, like I said, to follow the stuff you see from the comic books or or from the um the, the cartoon animated series. This is his own Elseworld story. And you see a different a take on these characters as well. And I actually did en en enjoy it a lot. Like, and, it, and it captures a lot of how characters were before they got to be what, how they are now. Like, like um... Like Killer Croc is in here, but Killer Croc was introduced when he first came out. He was just a a, a, big, a big guy who was a circus freak who had a bad skin condition. That's it. He, and then look, his skin looked scaly, and he and he sharpened. He had his teeth sharpened to me so he looked like more like a crocodile. And they kind of followed that version here before he became like more like, like the like the lizard than he is now. They also showed like um, you also get to see Clayface in here how he was an actor, and he, he, the only thing you could do is like mold, mold his face and make it look like anything he, he wanted to. You see that in Brothers Brothers. So, 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 like I said, like, a lot of these stories don't really connect, but they connect at the same time because they, 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 they do have a, a, a two line through, but a lot of them are just like, like, the, the, the villains are just one-offs. So like this Batman, one episode of Batman of Goldman is the Penguin, so is that boom? Move on the next one. That one he he goes against the Catwoman, and I really do like how Catwoman was introduced into here as, as well too, and how, how she started out and, and how and also how they how it ended as, as well. As, I thought it was pretty it was very fun and an interesting episode in here. I also had other characters, also villains in here that I don't know, didn't know too much about, like the um, like the gentleman the, the gentleman ghost. I've heard of the gentleman ghost, but I never but I never I never knew if it, if it was a Batman villain or not. But but um. Seeing him in here, very interesting take on, on that character as well. It was very f fun to watch. So each, each episode is very. Um, I I did I did enjoy, it. and it seemed like it got better and better each and every time. And I really did like the whole story they did they did with Harvey, seeing how he started out. Because Harvey, even before he started to go to, turn to the, to the bad guy route, he was like he's always kind of in a way kind of like two faced, and they, they didn't show him like psychologically breaking out, but but we also see how he was like emotionally like this. You can tell he has a lot of anger and stuff inside of him, but he always he's seen that he suppresses it and puts on this charming act. And he also wants to be good, but at the same time he's struggling with that as well too. He, he, he does like so he like he, he like it showed the duality of his personalities and, and his roles that he plays a lot of times. And then when the face got messed up, he, he had a hard time like balancing that that out between them two and, and seeing the struggles with, with that. As you kind of you went from like a character who he didn't really like that much. And then a character you start to understand, you start to feel kind of sorry for, and then you start to see the, when you start to see the struggle he's having, you, you kind of hoping that he actually could beat it at the same time. And so watching his struggle, I thought it was very interesting as well. And the voice actor did an amazing job because he also was a voice actor who he voiced Batman as well too. And so this time he's voicing Harvey. Who I thought it was pretty good. And I thought the voice actor who um, who did um who did Batman, um Hashmish um Link Ladder. I think I said now, do the voice of Batman and Bruce. I thought he did an amazing job there. Watching him play these two different characters. And sometimes um, a little bit of Batman would come out of Bruce at times as well, too. Like, they, like it's very interesting because, because like I said, a lot of the, they say this, they say this plenty of times, Batman's role gallery kind of reflects a little bit of Batman himself. And so you got Harvey Dent, who has two personalities, who he's trying to, he's struggling against. And also Bruce has that two personalities as well too. Like the Bruce Wayne personality, the, the thing he puts on, and his, Bat, his Batman troop self. And, when, and you have Bruce talking to Harvey, who he considers a friend. 
and Harvey was to give him the answers that he wanted. And then you start, you start the little bit of the Batman come out of him. And that even shocked Two-Face as well, too, showing that, that even he is struggling with his personalities as well. I thought they were very interesting as, as, as well, too. So overall, I had to give this series a grade. I, I'm giving it a solid, um, I'm giving it a solid B. I'm giving it a solid B. Like, that's the thing, I wasn't perfect, but I, overall, I still did in, enjoy it. I even recommend this to check it out for yourself. Because it, 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 if you if you like the Batman animated series, it, it, it captures that, but also brings some, but also does some some type slight, slight twists to it, and also like I said, a little bit darker, a little bit more mature. So if you enjoy that series, you can enjoy this one as well too. If you could get past the whole fact that, that certain characters are gender swap and race swap, if you if you can't get past that, you probably won't enjoy it. But if you can get past that and really and watch the show for what it is, and actually see what's going on and, and enjoy the whole world that they created, you you have fun watching it. Because I because I, I did. I'm mean, actually I'm even looking forward to seeing the next season. I want to hopefully it gets picked up. So leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the, um, the series Batman Cape, Cape Crusader. If you haven't watched it, so check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy having been watching it too. Also give my channel a like, give a thumbs up. Shut up and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. All links down below. Connect you to my social media. You want to follow me there. I would appreciate that as well, too. And also my story, my social my shirts and socks, everything else and whatnot. See some some stuff. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say in my dream day of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.